Hi everybody, hope you've had another good week and that you're finding some more things to do at home, that home learning's going all good. I know we're all a bit anxious to get out and about, hopefully it won't be too much longer and things have already changed a bit now, we're down to level 3 lockdown but we'll just have to wait and see what happens and be patient. Now. If you tuned in last week, you will have heard our story about Moses and the Red Sea. Don't have any Lego animation for you this week, unfortunately, but we do have another skit. My kids are going to help us do another little Bible story, and so we hope that you enjoy it. Before I show it to you, um, a little bit about it. So this is after the children of Israel and Moses had crossed over the Red Sea, as we learned last week, and this is when they were actually in the Promised Land. God had promised this land to them, but there were people already living in there and those people weren't particularly happy that there was this new group of people coming along so one guy a king thought that he could outsmart them and outsmart God because he thought he knew better but he found out that well it doesn't actually quite work like that and that God really knows best so let's have a look at our skit right so there was this guy called Balak he was the king of a a group of people, a nation around where the Israelites were coming and he was a bit worried because he didn't have a strong enough army to fight these Israelites. How could he avoid his country being taken over? Then he thought of something. He thought of this guy called Balaam. Now Balaam was the kind of guy that if he said something like put a curse on a group of people, it would happen. And he thought, oh I know what I'll do. I'll get this guy to come along and see whether he can put a curse on the Israelites and then they won't take over my country. <laughs> okay, so Balaam said, yep, sure, if you pay me I'll do it. So off he sent to go to the Israelites and curse them. But all of a sudden he got halfway there and the donkey stopped. He just wouldn't go anywhere. And Balaam could not work this out. Why wouldn't he go anywhere? But the donkey was absolutely adamant he was not going anywhere, no matter how hard Balaam tried. Balaam just couldn't work it out. All right, but there was something going on that Balaam didn't know. Balaam didn't know that his donkey was seeing something that Balaam couldn't see. His donkey was seeing an angel, one of God's angels, standing in the road saying, Stop! Don't go any further. Don't go and curse the Israelites. They are my special people. You can't do that. But Balaam didn't understand this and he was really confused until finally God decided to do something very unusual. He decided to get the donkey to talk to Balaam. Donkeys don't usually talk, do they? But Balaam's could just as once and Balaam's donkey talked to him and told him that he wasn't to go and curse the Israelites, that God only wanted to bless them. And so off went Balaam and his donkey. Balaam was a bit more humble now. They were still going to go and see the Israelites and Balaam still hoped to curse them, but God had a different plan and the only thing that was able to come out of Balaam's mouth were blessings, were good things because God had a special job for his people to do. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that story. Balak the king and Balaam thought that they could outsmart God. They thought that they knew what they were doing and they could get this thing sorted and send away God's people just with a few words from Balaam. But really, God was bigger than them. He still is. He knew best and they couldn't actually outsmart God. He can use anything just to remind us that actually he's in charge, not us. And in this case, he even used a talking donkey. I hope you like our donkey. Of course, it's not really a donkey, it's a sheep. But thank you to Lollipop for filling in. We don't have a donkey. I'd love a donkey, but I don't think our neighbours would like it. Anyway, we have a song for you. And this song reminds us that our God is really big. He's strong and he's mighty and there's nothing that he can't do. So let's sing it together and Zara's going to help me. Are you going to come and stand over here? Cool. Awesome. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. 
My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Even make a donkey talk. Let's sing that once more together, shall we? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Thank you Zara for singing. All right, I hope that you enjoyed that. Have another really great week. Remember that our God is a really great big God who can do anything and we can trust in him and not be afraid. See you guys. Bye.